Terry Barnes is our social policy analyst and a man who's, who's been in the position of advising Tony Abbott in the past. Terry Barnes, welcome to you. Hello, Will. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, you too. Um, can we just first off get a comment from you perhaps on, on just the business of conveying this honour upon Prince Philip, appropriate or not? Well, well, I'm pro-monarchy and I'm actually pro-knighthoods as well. I think they're a great way of recognising those in our community who do uh, wonderful things that are above and beyond the call of duty. Um, but in the case of Prince Philip, who is already a companion of the Order of Australia, it was probably not the right time to make him a knight, even if that was the right decision, And which I actually, in this case, I respectfully disagree with, with uh, Tony Abbott. Uh, but having said that, I think the... Uh, uh, I just listening to your introduction. I think uh, a lot of what you say is actually right. That there are some issues in terms of uh, how things are done and who says what to whom that uh, need to be thought about. Okay, so let, let's let's put you in a position that you've held in the past as an advisor to the to the now Prime Minister Tony Abbott. And having told us what your position on this is, I imagine you would have said to him, probably not the right idea. Is Tony Abbott the kind of guy that? would say, uh, Terry, appreciate the advice, but I'm going ahead with it anyway? Or do you suspect this means that there was a general agreement that this was a good thing to do? Um, my my experience with Tony is, uh, as, as a boss and as well as a minister and when I was uh, with him in, in the Howard government days was uh, uh, he's very open to advice until he makes a decision. When he's made a decision, he'll stick by it. Um, and uh, usually stick by it through thin or thick or thin. And those who try and change his mind actually are the ones more likely to uh, uh, not be listened to. Um, in this case, I, I think uh, uh, Tony Abbott was uh, basically doing the right thing by his lights, uh, recognising somebody who he sees. And, and I think we all should brightly see as having made a significant contribution to Australia over many years in a, a difficult and unsung role. But... Uh, um, I also think at the moment that uh, perhaps the the absolute barrage of uh, a criticism, of uh, personal attack, uh, of um, uh, not cutting cutting the bloke some slack, is actually uh, maybe affecting uh, the way that he is uh, being advised, and maybe the way he's receiving advice. Do you suspect that the the dialogue between the prime minister and his his colleagues, his uh, fellow members of parliament, is as strong as it? It could and should be. I mean, certainly the outpouring of backbenchers and others today that have suggested that this was a, a poor move would suggest there isn't the sort of conversation going on behind the scenes that there might be when things are all going well. Well, certainly uh, it has that appearance. But on the other hand, I think uh, the Prime Minister, or Tony Abbott, the man, is actually uh, gets on very well with his colleagues as a whole. I don't think he is isolated up there in the bunker in that sense. But I do think perhaps he's being insulated from... Uh, some uh, frank and fearless political opinions uh, from his colleagues uh, by the by the protection around him in his personal office, and that's a question I think that uh, has been raised by this, and I think also by the, the recent um, uh, brouhaha over Medicare rebates. Mm. I think the way that ha was handled uh, uh, was a bit of a surprise to me. How do you think he? Um, sorry, Terry. Oh, sorry. Oh, just to say, I mean. Uh, uh, basically, uh, to uh, um, to go out and defend something and then change change their mm. minds virtually within a morning, uh, um, it didn't seem to be tactically correct to me, if I can put it as kindly as I can. <laughs> Some people have suggested much of the commentary today, Terry, has been about whether this is the, the beginning or, or, I guess, worse for the Prime Minister, the middle of the end for him as the leader of the party. As I said at the start, it's an incident without consequence for the average Australian, but does it suggest perhaps uh, how far down the path he is towards having an untenable leadership? Well, that's a good question. Well, my personal view is that uh, um, it could actually be the turning point that uh, gets him back on the track to recovery. I mean, uh, really? I'm sure some of, your so some of your listeners will drop their jaws in disbelief. And <laughs> you might have Mine just well. did, yeah. But... Um, what I, I think the thing about Tony is that uh, um, he is uh, very um, aware, he is very sensitive to criticism as a rule. Uh, he would be taking this on board and probably feeling it quite hard. And uh, he will probably almost certainly be asking himself, uh, how do I turn this around? And if uh, uh, the old, the old um, what's the old line about uh, acknowledging you have a problem is the first way to fixing it? Yeah, it's the first uh, step. I, 
perhaps perhaps the first steps have been taken over the last, you know, with Medicare thing last week and, and certainly with this. Um, but uh, I, I think he's basically a decent a decent man who's been trying to do the right things as he sees it, but uh, in the process uh, has um, dug a couple of holes that didn't need to be dug. Terry Barnes, it's always enlightening speaking to you, and you've got a unique perspective on, on this issue, and we appreciate you uh, uh, letting us in on, on that. Thanks for your time.